Hello and welcome back to lesson 13 of basic CNC programming. In this lesson I'm going to be talking about how to call a subprogram and also why subprograms are used. We'll also be discussing two new M codes, the M98, the subprogram call, and the M99 subprogram end. So let's see how that's used in a program. Alright, in this exercise we're going to be machining the excess stock away around this gun. The red dotted line is the excess material or the raw material we're going to be machining this shape out of. You can see our half inch end mill doing the work and let's take a look at the cutter paths and as you can see there's going to be a lot of code involved removing all of this stock. So that was the rough pass and then followed by a finish pass with a smaller tool to be able to reduce the corners. So let's take a look at what the code looks like and then let's discuss what happens when we do multiple parts in a setup. Alright so here we're looking at the program and all the code that is necessary to make all those cover paths removing all that excess stock around the gun back and forth roughing the outside and then making a tool change and finishing the outside. So you can see that's quite a bit of code and that's okay if we do one position there's really no other way to do it but you can imagine if you had four stations on the same table where we're doing the exact same shape the exact same color paths that this program would be four times the length of this one to do the same thing. So let's talk about how we would create subprograms to reduce the size of our program and make it easier to manage. Alright so here you see this setup of four identical parts and we're going to be doing the same exact machining that we just watched in a single station. The rougher is going to come out and do all the roughing at each station first then followed by a tool change where we make one final or finish pass around each part. So the first thing we're going to have to do is assign a work offset to the upper right hand corner of each station. So basically the code is going to be identical at each location but just in relation to a different work offset. So let's watch that toolpath real quick and we'll take a look at the code and then we'll talk about how we can reduce the size of the program by creating a main program that is calling up subprograms. Alright so what you're looking at here is on the left side we have our main program and in the middle and on the right we have the subprogram that we're going to be calling from the main program. Now the way this works is all three programs are in the control of the machine and the main program, program number one, is going to be the active and main program that you're going to be running and what it does, it first of all of course starts at the top and reads in all the safety lines, it makes the tool change it wraps to its first position and turns on the spindle, calls up the tool offset and wraps to a one inch above the part and turns on the water. Now here's that M98P2 call. So M98 says subprogram call or the P2 following it is calling for program 2. So what it does, it looks for program 2 in the program directory and then starts running from the top there. So right now we are sitting at one inch above the part and what it will do then is wrap it to two hundred thousandths above the part and do all the roughing operations in this program all the way to the bottom and then it sees the M99 and the M99 says go back to the main program and go to the very next line so it'll be right here and what it does there is it reads the next position rapids to G55 start position and then calls up that same subprogram again and it does the same routine there that it did at G54 but now in relation to G55 so it repeats this same 
process at G55, G56, and G57, and then when it's through with G57, the tool wraps up to Z1 inch, turns off the spindle, turns off the coolant, wraps to Z home position. Then it makes a tool change, and it does the same thing. It reads in the, all the safety. It picks up tool number two. It wraps to the first position in relation to G54. Then calls up the tool offset for tool number two and turns the coolant on. And then we're sitting at Z one inch above the part. And now we're calling up sub program number three. So now it comes over here, runs it from the top to the bottom. It sees an M99, and then it goes back to the main program, goes to the next line, and repeats the same thing at G55, G56, and G57. Then when it's through, comes back to the, to the main program, and all the axes are homed out, and then it sees the M30, and rewinds itself to the top of the program. So that is how subprograms are used to reduce program size. And as you can see, if you wanted to make a small change to a feed rate or maybe to the depth, then you only have to make a change right here or right here once, and it will be good at all four stations. So that's another advantage of using subprograms. So that covers how to use subprograms. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.